Hi, it's Mike Chan. There's nothing more majestic than the animal kingdom. It is nature at her finest with different creatures striding across grasslands or birds soaring above the blue skies or even colorful fish diving into the depths of the ocean. Their presence in the environment can give us a sense of wonder. However, as humanity progressed with technology and industry, many animals have been dealt a hard blow, driving so many of them to the point of extinction. But as the saying goes, nature will always find a way. And for this video, we're going to count down to 10 places in the world that have been completely taken over by animals. Number 10, the New World Shopping Mall in Thailand. To see a shopping mall completely abandoned and in complete despair is rare, but it's a growing trend. And unfortunately, the New World Shopping Mall in Bangkok, Thailand is one of them. After shutting down in 1999 due to regulation violations, it burned down a few years later, leaving a gaping hole in the roof, but still maintaining its concrete structure. The area has since turned into a water basin due to periodic monsoon rains that naturally occur in this region of Asia. And in order to combat the mosquito population that is slowly thriving due to the stagnant pools of water, locals in the area introduced koi and catfish to feed on the mosquito larva and bring down the pest population. However, while the koi and catfish did manage to control the mosquitoes, they also managed to breed and populate the water basin in the mall. and has now become one of the world's largest urban ponds. Number 9. Big Major K, the Bahamas. Big Major K has become somewhat of a tourist attraction. For anyone thinking of visiting the Bahamas, this uninhabited island is one of the stops that you should make for this one inarguable reason. Swimming pigs. Yes, pigs that swim. They can't fly, but they can swim. Located in the archipelago of Zuma, the exact origin of the pigs is not entirely known. There are rumors that the animals were involved in a shipwreck and managed to swim ashore. Other theories point to sailors leaving them on the island as a food source for when they return. And another possibility was that they were purposefully place there to bring in tourism. But regardless the reason, today it is one of the most visited places in the Bahamas. While the pigs are feral, they are gentle and seem to easily warm up to human visitors seeing that they swim up to boats looking for treats. Number 8, Palo Verde's Peninsula in the US. Again, their exact origins are unclear, but it is believed that the peacocks that now wander around Palo Verde's in California were imported a century ago from India. But of course, the intentions of bringing them to the west coast of the US is still a mystery. Today, over 1,000 peacocks roam the streets and driveways in the suburb of Rolling Hills Estates and have become quite the attraction in the area. Generally harmless, uh, unless provoked, these peacocks sit peacefully atop the roofs of many homes when they're not poking their long necks over fences or walking side by side with a human at a crosswalk. Number 7, Okunoshima, Japan. Known the world over as Rabbit Island, this little island in Japan is overrun with bunnies. Originally, Okunoshima housed manufacturing plants for poison gas during the Second World War. After the war, the island was planned to be developed into a park in order to give vibrant life to its once grim past. And the rabbits were there because they were used for scientific experiments in the plants but were later released into the wilds. But what happened after their release was completely unexpected. Running wild and uncontrolled, the rabbits did what they do best. They bred like bunnies. Without any natural predators to prey on them, the rabbits multiplied, creating a massive population and has become the main attraction to visiting tourists. While it is not illegal to feed these animals, the Japanese government is very strict against hunting the rabbits on the island. It is also forbidden to bring cats or dogs onto the island in case, you know, they, they eat the bunnies. Number 6, Holland Island in the US. This place has not only been overrun by wildlife, but has also been completely reclaimed by Mother Nature. It was formerly the most populated island in the Chesapeake Bay. Holland Island had about 360 residents who called it home. However, in 1914, a combination of winds and the tide starting to erode the island, its surrounding waters slowly claiming the western side of the area. Having little choice, most of the population on that side of the island were forced to leave their homes. By 2010, Holland Island was completely submerged, and the last house that stood there finally collapsed into the water. All that remains now are its new residents of aquatic life, and the occasional birds that fly over its waters to hunt for food. Number 5. New Delhi, India The country of India has a culture for vinegar living creatures for thousands of years. As part of the Hindu faith, animals should be treated with the same respect that you would give a fellow human being. And that is why the wildlife flourishes in its cities. In New Delhi, thousands of macaques, a species of monkeys, freely roam its streets. Being sacred to the Hindu faith, as it is believed that these macaques are living representatives of the god Hanuman, they are fed by devotees regularly as part of tradition. Because they're always being fed and no one is hunting them, the macaque population exploded and have now 
developed a certain kind of confidence where they can walk up to humans and ask for food, where just jump inside homes to steal a morsel or two. They also became much more aggressive, and this is why the Indian government employed people to mimic the screeching noise of the black-faced lagwar monkey, the macaques and nemesis in the wild to scare them away. And there's really no solution in sight to combat the population growth problem because due to their beliefs, people are not allowed to kill any of these monkeys regardless of how large their population has become or how aggressive they can sometimes be around people. Number 4. Aral Desert, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan The fourth largest body of water used to be in the place now known as the Aral Desert. Due to overfishing and irrigation, the place began to dry up until all that was left was, well, a desert. In the dry sands, evidence can still be found of former bodies of water. But what's really interesting is that after the water dried up, you can now find corals and seashells and even remains of giant ships decaying in the desert sand. And ever since then, the desert has become a magnet for different land creatures, especially wild camels that have suddenly taken over the region. These camels have made the area a comfortable place to live in. One of the reasons why a camel population may have taken over the place is the patches of lakes in the area that provide them with water, and of course the old ships that provide them shelter from the scorching sun. Number 3. Zal Fox Village in Japan This village, located in the Miyagi Prefecture, is full of foxes and their varied species. While it is not technically a place that has been taken over by natural means, the Zal Fox Village was opened as a reserve for these animals in 1990, and now has over 200 species of foxes living in it. The village is open to tourists and have areas where parts of this natural reserve is similar to a petting zoo where humans can interact with these animals. And as tourists walk through the main reserve, the foxes are able to roam freely. And although authorities strongly advise tourists from hand feeding and petting these free roaming foxes, these animals are known to cautiously approach the sanctuary visitors and wait for food to be thrown to them. Number 2. Chernobyl, Ukraine One of the largest urban areas that have been reclaimed by wildlife is the region that was greatly affected by the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster in 1986. Due to the dangers of radioactive chemicals and its residue, a 1,000 mile zone surrounding the planet has been closed off to human activity for the next 20,000 years. So yeah, by the time we're in Mars, we still can't live in Chernobyl. With the lack of human presence, the area surrounding the Chernobyl plant began to be taken over by nature. Trees started to sprout and plant life began creeping up structures of old homes and buildings. An aerial photograph of the region in 2013 shows that the place is quite literally being surrounded surrounded by a forest as nature and wildlife continue to reclaim it. And speaking of wildlife, animals have been populating the region as well. From stray dogs finding a quiet home in the ruins to different species of birds and horses, Chernobyl has sort of become a wildlife sanctuary. Some researchers who have entered the surrounding areas of Chernobyl have unfortunately reported back that most of the animals and plant life living there have been tainted by the radioactivity of the place. Certain mutations have been observed in small birds and some insects, testaments of the kind of harm and damage that we humans can inflict on nature. And finally, number one, Aoshima, Japan. This one is for all the cat lovers out there. Aoshima is known the world over as Cat Island, where these fantastic felines outnumber people six to one. The island became known to the world after a Reuters correspondent started documenting the cat population and ultimately telling the whole world about it. And since cat cafes are, are just not enough, cat-loving visitors started to flood this island. Now, unlike some previous entries, the cats here did not arrive on the island by mistake. Mistake. While the area was still populated by humans, the cats were originally brought to the island to control pests. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what your stance on cats is, the feline population grew to its lack of natural predators to keep their numbers in check. And ever since, locals and residents have taken care of these furry residents. And I just want to throw one last one out there, Naru, Japan. I was just there um, a few months ago, and this place is overrun by deer. And the story was, an ancient god arrived in the area on the back of a deer. Ever since then, deer in the area has been treated with the status of a deity. So you can actually walk up to these deer and hand them little deer crackers that you can buy from local stalls. And what's really fun is that when you bow to them, they bow back. And then you hand them a cracker because that's just a polite thing to do. But in some cases, these deer have become really aggressive. They sometimes bite, they sometimes ram you. But it is one of the funnest places I visited in Japan. If you guys want to see that video, I'll link it for you in my description box. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.